Hey everyone, Alex here, bringing you guys a video about how to create a Minecraft RTX world. Um, I played with this a little bit, and it honestly took me probably like 30 minutes to figure out how to create a world that essentially used like RTX blocks and had all the cool effects. So to save you guys the time, I'm just going to show you kind of how to do it. Now this is assuming you have Minecraft RTX already installed. Um, I do have a video on my channel on how to install Minecraft RTX, so if you haven't installed it yet, go check it out there, get it all installed, and uh, we'll pick up from here. So this is assuming you already have it installed. Now, as you probably know, if you do create new, uh, we have some templates, but like, let's say you just want to play, you know, Minecraft. Like, I'm a big fan of survival. Uh, let's just do test. Like, okay, you scroll down, difficulty. You go down to your resource packs. Uh, you notice, you know, there's some generic ones and the global Minecraft packs. So uh, let's go to create. And you're like, okay, I have Minecraft, uh, Minecraft RTX on. This should be it. You lo you load into the world and you realize this isn't RTX. <laughs> uh, so let me show you how to fix that. So let's quit. So uh, what you do is you want to go to the marketplace. And you will see um, right here, there's the Minecraft Ray Tracing World RTX pack. Now what these are is these are actually different um, texture packs that were created by these people. Um, and they support RTX. Now, each one's a little bit different. Um, like, I, what I would do is I would download all of these, play with them, see which ones you like the most, or what kind of theme you're going for with your world. Um, my personal favorite one is the Crystal Palace one. So let's do this as an example. Create this world. So um, you'll want to unlock all the settings, which will create it essentially a normal world. Uh, we'll throw in then Creative first. Um, and then essentially kind of leave it at this for now. Uh, and we will generate it. Now, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to generate a template world. Uh, for the most part, you're going to log in, you know, go in. And it's going to be this really pretty, already created world, right? And, you know, this is probably isn't exactly what you're looking for if you're looking to build your own stuff. Um, but the nice thing, again, is... You know, you at least have RTX and it's the world, this world. Now what you do is, because, you know, it's a generated world that's infinite, is you just keep flying out into the world, right? So you just keep on going uh, until it's generated, you know, random content. So for my example, let's go to normal RTX. This is the one I've been playing on. Um, I'll log in. Uh, so this, I actually have been playing it on survival, but um, I turned it into creative just to show you guys so you'll see i'm in my own place of the world like it keeps on going on but this is the area i've been playing in uh it's a standard survival um i made a couple changes just to show you guys some cool stuff uh but like for example like this is all the stock uh minecraft blocks uh there's nothing different about it um and i kind of like that i don't like a lot of the texture packs so this is basically the vanilla blocks uh, with RTX support, which is pretty cool. Oh, as I fall into lava. <laughs> I'm not a Minecraft pro, but... Uh, like, let's go around. Um, and then, like, technically, like, if I keep flying, like, this way, right? I made this kind of beacon so I don't get lost. Um, like, this is, like, one of the villages. This I don't think it's randomly generated, though. And if you keep going, you'll find that world that uh, was built... Uh, over there but at least you know if you keep going out uh as of right now this is the closest you can get to kind of creating a you know your own you know non-template minecraft rtx world and then this would be with the stock uh blocks so uh that's essentially how you would do it um if you have any questions you know go into the description uh definitely check this out like i love the reflections everything looks just so cool um if you have an RTX card and you own Minecraft for Windows 10, uh, this is definitely a no-brainer to check out. So, like I said, any questions, check below. If you haven't installed it, I have a guide for that too. And thanks for stopping by. 